Hey guys, this month we have another very large update to Tribes. We're calling it Accelerate because the biggest change is that you earn weapon unlocks so much more quickly. We also introduce 27 new weapons, a couple new maps for capture and hold, and a big set of balance changes. Let's take a look. One thing we've heard consistently from you guys is that the grind for weapon unlocks just takes too long. So one big change in this update is to dramatically speed up weapon upgrading and also item acquisition to make it a more enjoyable process. In the previous system, you had to spend your hard-earned XP to unlock each weapon upgrade. Now, as you use a weapon in-game, a progress bar in that weapon advances automatically. The same automatic progression will occur with every weapon, pack, perk, belt, and armor item you have equipped. So you're now actually simultaneously progressing every item in your loadout as you play. You're still earning that XP, but can now spend it elsewhere, say on a new class or an entirely new weapon. Of course, if you do want to fully upgrade now, or you have excess XP, you still have an option to immediately master any weapon using XP. Bottom line, you keep all your previous progression, but you now earn new unlocks much more quickly and simply by playing the game. What to do with all that XP? Well, in this patch, we also introduce new weapons across every single class. 27 new weapons, to be exact. We call these weapons variants because they have slight stat trade-offs compared to existing weapons and a different look, but generally not an entirely new mechanic. For example, say you enjoy the Arx Buster on Raider, there's a new variant called the Dust Devil. It does slightly less damage, but has a larger AoE radius. Or the Devastator Spin Fuser, a variant on the Heavy Spin Fuser that does less AoE damage, but it has a very strong direct hit damage bonus. Finally, with this update, we introduced the most comprehensive set of balance changes to date. Many of these coming from watching Tribe's tournament play and, of course, continued dialogue with the competitive community. There's far too many to list here, but we encourage everyone to take a look at the patch notes and read them carefully for yourself. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you online.